Hi, everyone. Do you remember in the book of Acts when the believers were gathered and the sound of rushing wind fell upon the people and, and the tongues of, of uh, fire touched them? That was the day of Pentecost as we all know it and remember it and even commemorate it. But did you know that that wasn't the only report of it happening throughout history? Since that time, there has been many other reports of it happening. Well, today, I want to bring you some audio and testimony of it actually happen, happening in a remote community in the Baffin Islands in Nunavut, Canada. This, I hope, will blow your mind. It is uh, on, also found on Sermon Index, and you could read the entire story and check it out yourself. Sermon Index is very careful and considerate to make sure that all content on there is uh, is doctrinally sound according to Scripture. So this isn't just coming from a flake here on YouTube. Uh, this is actually a report that happened, and these people serve and love the Lord Jesus Christ. A revival broke out. You need to hear this. Stay tuned. Listen in. Hey, welcome back and thanks for subscribing thanks for liking and uh, if you're new thank you for tuning in I hope you'll enjoy this and in, it'll encourage you uh, to believe you know the scriptures say that God is uh, the same that Jesus is the same yesterday today and forevermore and I believe it I hope you do too and and I believe it in the way of spiritual gifts all those things there is no reason for me anyway that I see in scripture to believe that the spiritual gifts and and the things that were available to the early churches is, is no longer available to us I I don't personally see it so when I hear of things happening that are are uh, that confirm uh, the Word of God, it doesn't surprise me. And uh, and today I'm, I'm sharing an event. You know, uh, in the book of Acts, Acts 2, when it says that uh, the Holy Spirit came upon them um, and there, there was a, uh, a sound of a rushing wind and the cloven tongues of fire came upon them and, uh, and they began to speak in tongues. Uh, it's not the first time, the, uh, sorry, it is the first time in history this has happened, no, but it's not the last time. So uh, there has been reports of it, uh, of this uh, Holy Spirit phenomenon happening uh, in, uh, in, in, in certain times in history over the last couple thousand years. And if it has, it, ha it doesn't surprise me, uh, but I actually, I, I want to uh, share this with you because it was actually captured on audio and um, and with a humble group of people who weren't looking and aren't looking for any amount of monetary uh, reward. They just love the Lord. So there's no reason for them and there's no reason for us to not believe them of, of this phenomenal event that happened. But I want to give you a backstory. Uh, there was a community out there in Nunavut and uh, in in this little in this little place off the Baffin Island, and uh, one of the the things that they did was okay. So this is so remote that only an airplane can get in there, or certain times a year a ship. This airplane um, brought in one time, I guess. Uh, got a hold of a bunch of pornography and, and was trying to bring this into the community, drugs and alcohol and the like, all kinds of paraphernalia. Now, the church obviously didn't have control. This was only a community of about 1,200 people, and there was only about 40 people, 50 people in this church. Uh, so you could imagine they were pretty much outnumbered, but they took this stuff, they burnt it, they offered it up to God, they burnt it, just like Moses did the golden calf, he burnt it, melted it, and then crushed it into fine powder, and uh, and that's what these people did, and they felt, so jump forward, two years in 1998, uh, this event that I've, I'm re I've recorded and I'm sharing with you happened. This was, and, and the, uh, them burning the drugs and the alcohol, that took place two years before this event that I'm sharing with you happened. Uh, so I'm trying to be as clear as I can. Um, they felt that 
the event that I'm sharing with you was a reward from God. It was God saying, well done, my good and faithful servant. I'm pleased with you. And, and they felt that it was a real reward, just the blessing of his holy presence that had broken through an atmosphere uh, where the community was just waxing worse. And you could imagine when you take uh, away the drink and the drugs and the alcohol away from ungodly people, who are simply waxing worse, uh, you're not a big, you're not uh, popular in the community. I'm sure they wanted that church out of the community. The church understood its place, and they knew that they had a great battle on their hands, but they were they were weary, so they had set up a prayer time. And, and I don't remember how many days they were praying and fasting, but they were praying night and day uh, for the Lord to do something, for, for a revival to happen. Now, uh, revival did happen, and the people are, were deeply affected. Uh, hundreds and scores of people came to the Lord Jesus Christ after this event I'm going to share with you. The Spirit of God moved like a wildfire. In fact, they called it the Arctic Fire. And uh, through the Arctic remote places in, in uh, uh, the Arctic, they, they, uh, the people were coming to Christ uh, by the power of God alone and through preaching. So uh, th this was a, a momentous occasion in church history. I know it'll be recorded before the Lord, and these are good, solid Christian people who serve him today. And many more because of it. Uh, the children uh, will that were saved then, they we haven't even seen the impact because it wasn't too long ago, but they will be impacting the world, and, and we're going to hear about it. Uh, anyway, I'd like to share this with you. Take a listen, and uh, before you judge too harshly, maybe take it to prayer. Really, take it to prayer. Just because it's not in your repertoire of experience doesn't mean it hadn't happened. Doesn't mean it can't. Uh, you know, maybe you're even resolved that Scripture dictates to you that that there will never be, uh, you know, another occasion where the rushing wind comes in. Well, how do you explain this? It happened in the middle of winter, February 28th, 1999. Believers had gathered for a week of revival meetings at the Anglican Church. Hungry for God and troubled by new reports of community drug use, they decided to add a special Sunday afternoon youth service. Among those leading the meeting were Pastor Moses Kayak and his ministerial colleagues Joshua and James Ariak all great-grandsons of the original lightkeeper, Angwa Tizawak. An invitation was offered for youth who felt they wanted to come closer to God. Worship leader Louis Ariak was praying over the youth that had gathered around the altar. I felt so close to God and he kept giving me this verse that says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Something start to happen that uh, was out of our control. This uh, noise started coming. Yeah, it started softly, like you can barely hear it. A dual cassette deck used to record the service was still running off the soundboard. Right away, I wanted to stop, but it kept getting louder and, and I started to notice that people were kind of getting a little nervous. It was so strong, so strong. It was so loud that everything started to shake. Fire went right through me. It sounded like a jet. Things started to shake. I started to shake. I told myself, there's no jets in Pond Finland. After this extraordinary visitation, it was evident the moment still had power. Every time I thought about it, I, I was greatly humble. And there you have it. What do you think happened? Personally, I think it was a visitation of the Holy Ghost, and it just happened to be captured on cassette. Um, make a judgment for yourself. Until next time, love you all. See you later. Thank you.